Alright, hello everyone. In this video we're going to talk about something more aviation related uh, in our series of videos here on YouTube, and that's aircraft controls, movements, and axis. Now you need to know this because it's usually part of one of your level 1 or 2 classes, and it's also very very important if you plan on applying for a glider or power pilot scholarship. This is pretty much the first thing you need to know. So we're going to start this video by defining the um, aircraft axes that are involved um, on an airplane. So we're going to draw a table to help us identify them. Then we're going to move on to controls that cause rotation around that axis and the movements that we associate uh, with each axis. So I'm just going to make a table here. Okay, so say there are, there are three axes, right? Because a plane can move in three dimensions. So we're going to call the first column of our table axis, then control, and movement. Now I recommend that you, if you're interested in this, to copy a similar table down because it will really help you in remembering these. So I'm just going to switch color here to define our first, first axis, which is the uh, longitudinal axis. We'll start there, the longitudinal axis. And the longitudinal axis runs from the nose to the tail of the plane. Nose to the tail. So that's our longitudinal axis. Longitudinal. Now what control causes rotation, sort of like this, around the longitudinal axis? Well, that would be the ailerons. The ailerons. Now remember, ailerons are um, control surfaces that are on each end of the wing that move in opposite directions to uh, inhibit roll, which is the movement, around the longitudinal axis. One aileron moves down to create more lift, right, because you're going to create a bigger differential between the high and the low pressure, and one moves up to reduce lift, and then that will cause roll, or you can also call this bank, but generally roll is the preferred term because bank can be uh, associated with both the uh, movement around longitudinal and normal axes that we'll talk about later. So the next axis that uh, I'm going to talk about today is called the lateral axis. The lateral axis. The lateral axis, sort of like this, goes from, you can imagine it going through wingtip to wingtip. That's the lateral axis. And the way to remember the difference between the longitudinal axis and the lateral axis, for me, is to usually think that a plane is longer than its wingspan, which is not always the case, don't kid me wrong, but um, that's how I like to remember it. Now what movement, or what control surface first, is associated with movement around the lateral axis? And that's the elevator. The elevator, which is located on the empennage of the plane, that's called the, the, the tail section is called the empennage, and lateral, or sorry, uh, the lateral axis is connected to the elevator, which controls a movement called pitch. So let's write all that down. You have your lateral axis. The elevator controls around the lateral axis, and the movement is called pitch. And what does pitch do? Well, it controls how the plane ascends or descends, right? So you can go up or you can go down about the lateral axis. The third axis that we're going to talk about is either, um, some people call it the normal axis while others call it the vertical axis. Both are right. You have to imagine the um, normal axis or the vertical axis is going vertically straight through the plane. Vertically straight through the plane. So you have your vertical axis, or normal. And what movement is going to control, or sorry, what control surface is going to cause movement around the normal axis? And that's your rudder, your rudder. The rudder is a, a fin. So it's actually sometimes called a fin, but the correct term is a rudder. Uh, it's vertical on the empennage of the aircraft, and it controls a movement called yaw. So let's write that down. You have your rudder, 
and that controls a movement called yaw. And yaw moves the aircraft, aircraft's nose from side to side. Now if you just say you're in a turn, you, say you want to bank the aircraft. So remember this is the word that we associated up here, bank. We, we've associated that with both roll and yaw. So say if you want to bank the aircraft, you can't just roll the aircraft because then theoretically it would just go on its side if the aircraft was very aerodynamic and there was no secondary effects of controls, but that's something that we'll discuss later. So you can't just roll the aircraft and you can't just yaw the aircraft. So these work together to create bank. So if you want to turn the aircraft, you need to apply aileron and rudder in a coordinated manner for bank. Otherwise, you'll slip or skid. And these are terms that we're going to discuss later. But the idea of this video was just to introduce you to the axes of an aircraft, the controls that are associated with each axis, and when we move one of those controls, what the specific term is called to describe that movement. Thank you for watching this video, and if you would like more, please let me know because I can make these very quickly and they're, they're fun for me to make. So thank you.